Hello, good morning and welcome. It's glad to have you join us in this edition of our Galaxy. Today it's a Thursday and we are focusing on our lifestyle today. Specifically, we have, um, I would say, a big fish with us here in the house. Uh, my name is Justin Akadone. And no doubt is joined by Uche Onyekoluje. Like you rightly said, we have a big fish in the house, so they'll be helping us set our goals all right. I mean, a whole lot of us believe in resolutions. I don't think that is right, though, but I do know that once is a new beginning, yeah. there should always be a new, um, a new start. There should always be something you're looking forward to, something you want to change, something you want to be better off, you know? Mm. And before, and there's something you said in our pre chat that before you start setting goals for other people, you have to actually work on um, your own goals too. So if you don't uh, fashion that out, it'll be hard for you not to actually make people believe. You know, that exactly is what happened yes. between you and I. Mm. I, had, I got married, and so I've been telling you to get married too. Oh, so it's that's just part of it, you know? Okay, yeah. Yes. Yes. Justin. Brand. Yes. Okay, we have our leadership advocate. We. <laughs> I mean, Justin, that's me. National TV. We have the CEO of Gemstone Group. Uh, he's also a nation builder advocate. Many thanks for joining us, Philando Rotary. Well, thank you very much, and, and Uche. I second you. your goal. Thank I you. I second your goal this year. What we have to do is we have to set a goal for Justin. Let's oh set, let's, let's set yes. the wedding day and invite him to it. Exactly. <laughs> I concur. This is a this is a gang of come on, fella. This is so not nice. <laughs> okay, you do this to me. I just I needed to give an example to what he said before came on camera. And it was only were you not setting a goal to get married this year, Justin? Uh, uh, well, I didn't have to put it out there. <laughs> okay, we won't release the date, but then it would happen this year. Well, happy new year, guys. <laughs> Same to Thank you. you. And happy new year to everyone who's watching. Yes. Okay, so we're looking at goal setting. I mean, I'm particularly itching today. I mean, they said it's easier to um, learn something new than to learn what you already know. Yes. So. Go set in general, let's start with that. Okay, well, um, you know, I love the way Muhammad Ali, the mm. great boxer, the legend, said it. He said something. He says, I float like a butterfly. Mm -hmm. I sting like a bee. Mm. He says, but your hands can't heat what your eyes don't see. Mm. Mm. And this is essentially, the, for me, what, what goal setting is all about. Mm -hmm. Goal setting is the ability to see what you want, mm -hmm. to visualize it, so that your hands can go in the direction of it and mm -hmm. you can make sure that you're giving what it takes mm -hmm. to get it. Most times when you don't know what you want, mm -hmm. you don't know what you have to give up to get it. Um, I, I, I always say to people, everything you need to get what you want is already with you. Mm -hmm. Everything. 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 And when you use what you have, you will attract what you don't have to get what you want. Mm -hmm. But you always have to start with where you are. A lot of the reasons why most people don't get to achieve much, in, you know, whether in, in their year or in their, in, in their life, is because, number one, most people really don't know what they want. Mm. Mm. They, they don't. Be, unless I not exactly know what you Oh, want. you'd be amazed. You'd be amazed that, that, that many times people have a, a bit of a desire, but they are not specific. Mm. You ask people, what do you want this year? They say, I want to hammer. Hammer is not a goal, <laughs> all right? So, if, so if, if you, if you, for you to have a goal, it has to have a, a few characteristics. And you, you must have heard about SMART, mm -hmm. okay? Right. And SMART actually is an acronym for Specific, specific yeah. measurable, measurable, Achievable, achievable realistic, realistic, and time bound. And, and so yeah. people say things like, I want to make a million naira or have a million naira in savings by October 1st. Mm -hmm. That is a goal. Mm -hmm. But I found something very interesting that a goal is not as powerful as a vision. Mm. That sometimes you can set a goal that is a target, but a vision is a more, let me put it in a, in a way that I hope that the viewers love to hear it. They say, a goal is something that you set many times that keeps you going. Mm. A vision is what you set that keeps you awake. Okay, so you don't get vision because you sleep. sleep you yes. get a vision that keeps you awake at night because of how much it means to you. And, and visions must also be smart. Mm. And S means it must be significant. Mm. A vision is something is significant if it touches the lives of many people, mm. not just your own. Yes, it shouldn't be M, it should be meaningful. Mm. meaningful. Meaning everybody who hears it gets it. Mm. it you know, A, it should be attractive. Mm. Meaning everybody who hears it wants to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. They want to be, you know, it wants yes. to draw them in. R, it should be record setting. Meaning you should be setting a goal or a vision around something that you've never done or has never been done before. Mm -hmm. And T, it should be treasured. 
meaning mm. that if you achieve it, it will bring you great joy. Mm. And if you didn't, it will bring you great pain. Mm. So, it, so vision or goals must be set around the things that matter to you. Mm. Don't set goals just because everybody is setting, setting goals. goals yeah. Set goals because you really want to see the most significant difference in your life around a particular area. So if I got you correctly now, if you have to set goals and visions, it will have to be something that, um, you know, that you can actually relate with personally. Oh yes, it, not, it must not only be something you can relate with, hopefully it has to be something that other people can relate, relate with. It. It okay. In other words, the benefit of, you know, the reason why we are here is not to be here. Mm. The reason why we were here is to make this place better for not just yourself, but for others. In fact, yeah. in fact, the truth about it is that most people who are here on earth in Nigeria mm. just trying to get by are the ones that, get, that don't get by. Mm. But the people who are here to make life better for others, mm. to see how they can help others, to see how they can be useful to others, mm. are the ones that are rewarded because mm. they create value. So my point is this, that it's not enough for you to set a goal that means something to you hopefully set a goal that means something to a lot of people because the benefit they get from you accomplishing your mm. goal comes to them, so they want to help you. Mm. So, so you're saying that your goal wasn't be selfish. Oh, no. It has to be human-related. Yeah, so, so there are certain goals that, re that, that touch you, yeah. but find other <laughs> stakeholders, mm. people who benefit from your goal. Mm. And because also, if a goal is going to be important enough, no one person will be able to accomplish that goal. Okay, so uh, from what you just said now, I know that um, this is a generation that are a bit more, um, so we are so much in a hurry. Yes. It's a Everybody just, they just want to get there. Yeah. I mean, you know. Fast lane. Uh, yes, <laughs> exactly. You know. So when is a goal ambiguous? Because if we okay. say it so, has to be so, simple. So a goal like, no. is ambiguous when you are not able to pinpoint exactly what it means mm. or where, where it's taking you. Mm -hmm. So that, that means, you know, in, in a way, so I'll give you an ambiguous goal. Let me just give an ambiguous goal, mm -hmm. you know. So I say this year, ah, by God's grace, this year I must hammer. Okay. And you hear a lot of people say things yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Now, hammer to Uche mm -hmm. is different from hammer to Justin. Mm -hmm. It's different from hammer to Fela. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we don't know. So how do you know whether you have hammered or not? No, not exactly. how, how close have you gotten to hammering? Mm. Are you 30% have you ha but not ha mad, mad or have you ham but you know no. what have you but when your goal is specific yeah. you can measure how far you have gone towards it okay. and how much further you have to go okay. and it's very beautiful so if you said to yourself this year what I want to do is I want to be able to enlarge my customer base in my business mm -hmm. to be able to get to 100 clients mm -hmm. when you get to 30 you know I have 70 more to go okay. when you get to 60 so you know I have 40 more to go so it's extremely uh, important time. that your, your, your goals must mm -hmm. be measured okay, how about duration just yes, uh, okay, just to let you know that you can be a part of this um, conversation, you can interact with us via our social media platforms uh, using the hashtag uh, Galaxy today. If you have a question or if you have a comment uh, for Fela, do that, uh, send an SMS and the numbers, then now we'll be scrolling on your screen. It's still Galaxy today, let's pay some bills. We'll be right back, stay with us. Yo. <laughs> This is not my indomie. Please, sir, it's not indomie. Don't call it indomie. Sir, the taste is the difference. The difference is in the taste. That's why my brothers, my mommy, my daddy, and I all enjoy our delicious, so very delicious indomie meat. Caesar's greatest from indomie. Indomie. Tasty nutrition, good for you. Welcome back. It's still Galaxy today. Fela Duratoria is our guest on the show this morning. Yes, before we went to break, I was going to ask about duration. And I know that um, it depends on, we have to also look at gestational period. I mean, there's some goals that need time. I don't know how to preach this, but I'm not against people making it. I think I'm against when you're like, you know, no you. time to build the experience that you need you. to help you sustain this goal. So can you help us lay it out, how, duration and um, I, I, and and you're, you're so right, Uche, because I think that many times when we set goals, we set goals around results. 
Mm. And then we set those goals around the results in the time frame that we want. Sometimes mm. the process that we will take to deliver that result sustainably, mm. and that's a big one, sustainably, it will take a little bit longer than when it is that you have set your goal. So mm. you've got to be able to research your goal before you set it. Mm. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's extremely it's important true. that you are knowledgeable about the goal that you're setting. Mm. In other words, before you set a goal around weight loss, research what it takes mm. for you to lose weight. What is, you know, and then, so don't just say, I, I want to lose 10 kg by next weekend. Mm. That is a goal. It's not, it's just not a realistic goal. Mm. You see where I'm coming from, uh, you know, so, so my point is because there is a process to losing 10 kilograms mm. and, and so we can talk about that. And, and you know, just, we were just talking about three kinds of things you need to do when setting a goal. All right. and I need everyone to get this right. Number one is please don't set a goal because everybody's setting goals. Mm. Don't set a goal because it's the time of the year to set goals. Set goals around the things that you, are, that you care the most about. The things you care the, the most. The things that are important to you. The mm -hmm. things that, that matter the most to you, the, the area you want to see the biggest difference in your life. Meaning, let, let, me, let, me, let me be clear about this. Whatever goal you're going to set is going to require time, mm. resources, and energy that you're giving to something else. Mm. So if it's not important enough to you, mm. if you try and pursue it, you find out that you, once you, and every goal will take you a little while, like mm. you said. So it will, it will most likely then get to the point where you say, I beg, I, 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 can't, mm. I can't worry myself. So set a goal around the things that are important to you, mm. the things you want to see the biggest difference in. Number two, set a goal only around the things you can control. Only the things you have control. I, I need mm. to give you a practical example so yes, that you please, get this one. Yeah. So, so last year I was running a, a leadership conference in the United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. And after we had taken a break, I, was, I had talked about the different levels on which you can set goals. So whether it's uh, um, you know, personal goals, uh, emotional goals, relational goals, mm -hmm. career goals, financial goals, societal goals, and, and spiritual goals. And I have talked about some of these things. And this gentleman came to meet me and said, yeah, Fela, I'm so excited about that. I'm grateful that I came for this conference today. Um, and I've decided to set a goal. And I said, what is it? He said, I've been, I've been separated from my wife for three years. Mm. And I've decided that this year, my wife must come back. Mm. And I said to him, that's the wrongest goal to set. And he looked at me so shocked, like, Fela, but you are the, you are the captain of, of family values. How can you say that it's wrong to set a goal? I said, because it's not within your control for your wife to come back. Mm. I said, you can set a goal about becoming the best husband mm. that any woman would want to come to home to. Mm. And, and in doing that, you can then say to yourself, what do I need to do? So I gave you a very quick example. Um, I asked him, I said, where your wife is staying right now? Is she paying rent? He said, yes. I said, to be the best husband, should you be paying rent? He said, yes. I said, are you paying the rent? He said, no. I said, set a goal mm. when you start paying rent. Mm. I said, to, do you see your kids? Uh, do you talk to them every day? He says, no. I said, to be the best father that any woman would want to come home to, would, you know, do you have to do homework? Do you have to? And he said, yes. I said, so set a goal about stopping by helping them doing homework, mm. taking groceries. I said, that's the thing you can control. You can control your own action, but you cannot control her reaction. Mm -hmm. What if she now decides in her heart, I will wait until the end of the year to see whether this guy is real. Mm -hmm. And then in January, she plans to come back. Meanwhile, you had set a goal that by the end of the year is when you want her to come back. By setting that goal, you have drawn a, a, a line mm -hmm. that you have now begun to define failure by. Mm -hmm. So now you are saying, if she doesn't come back before the end of the year, then you have failed. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you, if you were setting a goal about being the best husband, then you could not fail mm. because you only kept on giving your best shot. Next year, you continue to be good. Okay? So the first thing I said is set a goal around the things that are important to you, mm. the area you want to see the biggest difference in your life. Number two, set a goal around the thing that you can control. Mm. But number three, which it comes back to what we we're talking about, set a goal around the process, mm. not just the result. Mm. You can desire the result. I'll give you a practical example with myself. Most people don't know, but they've forgotten that about two years ago, I used to be 92 kilograms. Mm. I was such a big, massive bundle of meat, <laughs> right? And, and to cut the long story short, for, you know, for a man my height, I looked like a barrel of, of, of crude oil, <laughs> all right? And, 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 and I didn't really like my body. You know, most times when I'm on TV, I, once I finish recording or something, I don't want to watch it because all I could see was my big stomach, <laughs> my this, you know, and, and, and all of that. So one day I decided, look, this thing is enough. 
I have to make a difference. And it came out because I had a, a word in my ear mm. one day that and God said to me, you are trying so hard to build Nigeria into the most desirable nation to live in by 2025. Do you not want to live long enough to enjoy it? Mm. And I realized that I was killing myself. My body was carrying too much weight for my heart. Mm. And so, cut the long story short, I knew that I had to do something. I said to myself, enough of this nonsense. But the question was, what do I want to do? A lot of times before then, I would say I want to lose five, five kilograms. I would lose it. And the minute I've lost it, I say hooray with a bag of chocolates or hooray, you know. But I then decided that I was going to cut off a few things along the process. Mm. So I cut off rice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, cut off, I cut off rice, I cut off meat, I cut off chicken, I cut off sh sodas, sugar, I cut off essentially yam, things like that. Mm. And I cut them out. So I haven't eaten ever in two years. Mm. I haven't eaten rice in two years since 23rd of August 2015. Mm. I set a goal around the things mm. that will help me lose weight, not around the weight. Mm. Uche, Justin, in five weeks I lost 14 kilograms. Wow. wow. Right? Mm. I lost 14 kilograms. So I went from 92 kilograms to 78. Mm. Not by trying to go to 78, mm. but by focusing on the things I was going to stop doing, mm. I started doing exercises, I started skipping in the mm. course of the day, 100 jumps a day. Those were the things I set a goal. So I set a goal around the process mm. and I got the result I was looking for. In two years, I've still not eaten rice. Mm. And my greatest goal is that in 2025, I'll be celebrating 10 years of not eating rice. Mm. Mm, that's a big one. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> okay. And th this viewer just has a question for you. I don't know if you just joined. He's asking specifically, uh, what do I consider before setting um, goals? Okay. So we just talked about three things you need to consider. Number one, this goal I want to set, is it something that means a lot to me? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is it something that will be helpful to, to others? Mm -hmm. Is it something that, that I really want to see happen and it makes a difference in my life? Mm -hmm. The second thing that, that, that you have to consider is, do I have control over this goal? Mm -hmm. Is it something I can do or do I need the help of others you know, and, and, and all of that? The third one is, do I understand the process? The process mm -hmm. Am I informed enough about this goal? so that I can focus on what needs to be done mm. to produce naturally the desire that I'm looking for. Mm. That's the most important thing. It, it, desire comes naturally to us. Everybody, you want to make more money? Yes. Mm. What do I need to do legally? How do I do that? Now, you know, one interesting one that you find is a lot of times people say, oh, I want to grow my market share. Mm. That's an objective. That's a desire. Fine. You want to grow your market share. But the question is, how do you grow your market share? So you have to study to say, okay, well, if I am able to increase the number of customers that I have, now you can set some interesting goals and say, like I said, uh, 100 customers is what I want to have mm. by the end of the, of the year. That's fine. But one other interesting thing is you have to then begin to ask yourself, how do I go about this smart? Can I give you the last smart? Mm. Remember the first smart we did was specific, it's measurable, it's achievable, realistic, and time, time Then we said, yeah. but it has to be significant, meaningful, attractive, record-setting, mm -hmm. and treasured. treasured. This is yeah. the last one. If you're writing, please write this down. It's very important. Is that you have to have a strategy. Mm. You have to have milestones. milestones okay. You have to take action. Mm -hmm. You have to do research, research and set out resources. Mm. And then the last one is you need a team. Mm. People there is no goal that is worth setting that does not require more than one person. Mm. Okay. You need a team of people. So remember, smart, the, the way to actualize your goal mm -hmm. is that you must have a strategy, strategy, meaning I must have an idea, how do I go about this? Number two, you must break it up into milestones. Mm -hmm. Anybody who wants to build a house knows mm -hmm. that you cannot build a house. Mm -hmm. Nobody builds a house, mm -hmm. but you buy land mm -hmm. and then you fence it. Mm -hmm. Then you get, you, do you understand? Then you get architectural drawings. Then you do, do the foundation. Mm -hmm. Then you do, that's how you build a house. You don't build a house by building a house. Mm -hmm. You build a house by buying land. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so the first, and most times you find many people say, ah, I want to build a house, I don't have money. Go and ask anybody that has ever built a house. They never had enough money. Mm. Except they stole. No, don't let me say except they stole. Because sometimes, they, <laughs> but it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. Most yeah. people who will build a house know that. All they need is to have enough credit to call an estate agent, to okay. say, I want to build and I'm looking for land. And you have to know where you want to have your land. Mm. Okay. It has to be something. And you, nobody builds house because it's the nice thing to do. Mm. Most people who build their house know that this is, it's come to that point in but their yeah. life that they say to themselves, I must build a house. Mm. So please, I'm, I'm pleading with you, this year, let this be the year that you set out 
to do the things you feel you must do, not just the things you would like to do. All right, uh, like more uh, more um, feedback. So this one is from Eboka Ayo. He um, he's asking. Uh, he wants you to define um, talent, uh, gifts, skills, and um, do they affect um, your goals and them um, setting oh, them? Oh, absolutely. So, mm -hmm. for instance, you know, to the effort that you will require to mm -hmm. achieve your goal is going to be, to a large extent, um, it require your talents, mm -hmm. your personality, and your passion. These are the three most important things. And, and your talent is the natural gifting that you have, mm -hmm. your ability to do what it is you are created to do on earth. Mm -hmm. and, and any time, you, you, most people who are talented cannot tell where they got their talent from mm -hmm. because they got it from heaven. You came with it mm -hmm. and you came with it to do the assignments that were set for you before you showed up. Mm -hmm. The worst thing that can happen is for you to be trying to set a goal around something that you are not talented at. Mm -hmm. What you need to do is to find what you are talented at and then look at other people who have talent in the area you are not talented at. Mm -hmm. And those are the people that I was talking about bringing onto your team. team yeah. So it's important that you're able to know what am I talented at? What am I good at in mm -hmm. accomplishing my goal? But then the other one is what do I need help with? Okay? Mm -hmm. What do I need help with? And who has that help? Who has the talent? For instance, and I'm just going back to this word about, about um, losing weight. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you need the help of a gym instructor. Mm. Right, you, you you know it's your body, but you don't know how to train it. Yeah. So you may need a gym instructor to help you to put that body into shape. Yeah. Right. Um, so you find someone who can do that because you are not naturally good at mm. training yourself. If you were, you would have been doing it all this while. Mm -hmm. You know. So my point is, you've got to be able to to find someone. Um, but your talent is going to be important. Okay. Your personality is going to be important. Mm. Don't set a goal around something you have to fake. Okay. You hear yeah. people say things like "fake it until you make it." No. Mm. Whatever will not be authentic to you, don't do it. Mm. And don't set a goal around it. Because okay. you won't be able to sustain it. Mm. And then the last thing is your passion. Oh, please, mm. do something you, you love to do. Mm. Do Set a goal around something you enjoy. Mm. Set a goal around something that you are you're not only good at, but you are naturally. You know, somebody has to beg you to stop it. Mm. Like mm. me now, people have to beg me to stop talking, mm. to stop teaching. Mm. That's what I'm great at. Mm. This, this is one of the things I want to help you understand. You can be good at anything you work hard at if you're not good at it. Yes. But if you are good at it and you work hard at it, you become great at it. Mm. Mm. So the difference between people who are great and the people who are good mm. is that the people who are great worked hard at what they were already naturally good at. Mm. Okay. Yeah. yeah you guys are just natural talkers. <laughs> <laughs> so All you're right. great at what you do. So before you continue, you know, I, mm. um, in regard to that question, you yes. know, I was going to ask about passion, the role of passion and training. Maybe because I, I just have this phobia for going through the fast lane again. Yeah. There's need for training. Can oh, you please absolutely. talk about that? Oh, yeah. I, I, you, you know, pa your passion essentially comes with you. It's just what you naturally enjoy. Mm. Most times, you're, whatever you're talented at, whatever you're naturally good at, you probably will have a bit of passion for it. You, mm -hmm. you probably will have it. But that is the raw material mm -hmm. for greatness. Yeah. It's not what produces greatness. Mm -hmm. The finished product is when you hone that thing that you have a passion for. Mm -hmm. When you become, you know, that's when you become great at it. When mm -hmm. you're putting, you know, uh, there's a book that many people uh, may have heard. It's about a guy, guy called Malcolm Gladwell, mm -hmm. and it's called The Outliers. It talks about this thing called the 10,000 hour rule. And the 10,000 hour rule says, anything that you spend 10,000 hours developing, you are going to become a master at it. Wow. Mm. Okay, and he gave examples of everybody from Bill Gates to the Beatles and all of that. Mm. And, and you go and look at the people who you know are great at what they do. They spend so much time practicing. Mm. You know, uh, somebody once said, he says, you don't, you don't, you, most times you don't see, uh, you, you practice when the lights are off. Mm. And that's when you sweat so you can shine when the lights are on. Mm. Most of us have to do, if you have to be begged mm. to do what it is that you do and you love to do, you are not doing something that you are naturally mm. good at. You have to be doing something that, you know, when nobody's watching, you are doing it. Mm. When nobody's there, you are practicing it because you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. So that's why the greatest singers are the ones who are always singing. Mm. They are building their 10,000 hours. Yeah. So, mm. so the process is important. Mm. And please let me be clear about something. If, if I jump up, I will come down. Mm. If I climb up, I may climb down. But if I grow up, I will stay up. Mm. And most of the people that you see who used to be rich, who used to be great, who used to be famous, many of them jumped up. Many of them climbed up. 
most of them didn't grow up they didn't mm. practice they didn't develop themselves until they got to the level where they are mm. all right uh, we have um, loads of um, feedback that we're just going to have to scan through a lot of them uh i don't know where to start uh, this one says um that sounds uh, funny uh okay let me start with this funny one he says uh uh, please, which food are you eating without rice? Give me the record. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Okay. So, so, so my diet essentially, con you know, con it's, 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 it's beans, right? I do a lot of, I do beans. I do um, fish. Mm. I do a lot of vegetables. Mm. Um, I, I do fruits. I do nuts, you know. Um, Anything in the nuts family. Yeah, so cashew peanuts, nuts, cashew peanuts, nuts. But do try nuts. not to do much, too much of it because it, else, it also has cholesterol. But okay. again, you have to read about these things to be able to know, mm -hmm. right? Um, and, and so I pace myself. I try to, the most significant, I, let me tell you one of the ones, and we talked about time. If you ever want to lose weight, the most significant one you can do immediately without changing your diet mm. is the time of your last meal. Wow. If you can take your last I'm meal guilty. before you switch the lights on, then you are good. I'm going to say that again. Before you switch the light on. Yes. Before, before night that. time. Okay. Mm. If your last meal requires light to be on to see your food, mm. it's too late. It's too late. Wow. Okay. Okay. You, you don't eat. And, the, and I hope somebody, I, I can hear somebody almost screaming that they got that. You know, you just make sure you eat your last meal before you have to turn on the light. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. More, more, more uh, from that. Goal setting. Uh, agreed that people need to set a goal on the thing that is important to him or her, but uh, um, put it under control. So, what um, what are the needful things that uh, I can't really get this? Let me read something else. Uh, this one is from Pastor Godswell. It says, uh, uh, "Do we have anything like public goals, uh, and uh, what are the ways to make um, um, those goals come true?" Do we have any public goals? Oh, yes. As a nation today, um, one of the most important things that that as a nation we're trying to do mm. is to get 80 million p uh, permanent voters cards um, uh, issued mm. and this is INEC public goal and yeah. it's it's as a nation okay mm. so so that's a goal and it's a goal that we have made public as mm. to everyone what is your role and my role is for instance how do we key in our own our mm. own and these are the social goals I was talking about. Mm -hmm. So you can so my own social goal is to get thirty million new registered. Mm -hmm. Now that that is big for, for yeah, but that's what I'm doing. And I have the capacity to dream that big because I have access to public pl public platforms. Mm. Um, I have people following me on Instagram. I have you know, I know the people. So my point is this um, one of the goals I want you to set this year as a Nigerian is I need you to mm. set a goal to not only get your voters card but to get 10 people that are within your circle of influence mm. to get their voters card. Mm. And if you do that, I will be praying for you on a daily basis. <laughs> yeah, get your voters card before the end of March, of, of uh, 31st of January. That's putting a time to it, mm. okay? Before the end of 31st of January, get your voters card. Then this year, decide that you will get at the very minimum one person every month to go and get their voters card. But set at least a goal to get 10 people. Okay, after setting a goal, this one is from King James. Uh, after setting a goal, what are the factors, uh, maybe challenges I might meet? I have set um, a goal to make um, a farm business, specifically, he says, um, poultry. Okay, so I think that the first most important thing I always say to people, once you set a goal, is you need knowledge. Because you need more, knowledge is the most, is the greatest difference between where you are and where you want to be. Because mm -hmm. you just don't know how. If you knew how, you would have gotten it. The second thing is that most people think that what they need is more resources. And I talk about, no, what you need is to know how to use what you have, mm. how to discover what I have for the journey. Mm. So the, the first thing I need to do is get the knowledge on what it will it take me to get there and what do I have that I can use to start now. Okay. And then the next thing is, for the things that you don't have, who do I know or mm. who can I go and tell what this goal is that mm. will be interested in seeing this goal come to pass and, and, and so my point is, if I just leave it at those three things. Number one, you need to know more about what it is that you want to do. So you've set a desire in your heart, set a goal, you need to learn more about it. Number two, mm -hmm. you need to look and take an inventory. What do I have mm -hmm. that can help me to start the journey? It can't finish the journey, just to start, to take the next step. That's all you need. You don't need everything. You just need the next step. The mm -hmm. third and the most important one, who are some of the people who have the things that I don't need? And you don't need to know them. 
all you have to do is to have a goal that interests them, that attracts their attention, that makes them want to see your goal come to pass. Very practical example. 2009, I had a, an inspired dream mm. of painting Mushin. Painting Mushin. Ah, oh. So I had <laughs> gone to Mushin, I'd gone to, to, I'd gone to, Mushin <laughs> to, to speak at a, at a leadership conference. Okay. And, and this was just before 2010 when the government had said every house on the high street needed to be painted. Mm. Okay. Now, I was speaking to these people and I was talking about how leadership is the ability to, to create desired results in a way that impacts the lives of many people. Mm. And I was teaching them on leadership and da 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 da. And then I said, look, for instance, there's this edict. And guess what? You look at you, you guys look around. It's like as if the houses, most of the houses are not painted. Mm. Why? What? You know, what would it take for you guys to paint? If I came now and I said I wanted to paint a house, how many of you would join me? All of them said, hey. I said, uh. then I left. When I got home, I heard in my spirit, God said to me, it's not an example, it's an assignment. And he said to me, do you know where you just came from? I said, Mushin. He said, it's a place for making unique stars and heroes in Nigeria. Mm. Making M, unique, U, stars, S, heroes, H, I, in Nigeria. I screamed. I said, wow. He said, you are going to go back and you're going to go and do something called Mushin Nikoba. And you're going to paint houses in Mushin. I didn't know how to paint houses. Mm. But the day before that conference, this Friday before, I had gone to speak at a, at a, at a conference in Ikeja. And a gentleman, as soon as I finished speaking, came to meet me and said, that was an amazing speech. Here is my card. You will need it someday. Mm. Do you know I never bothered to look at the card because I was doing so many things? Immediately I thought to that. I said, well, where do I start? He said, go and look inside your card, your jacket. I looked inside my jacket. Who? It was the MD of DN Meyer, mm. the paint company, who had given me his card and said, you will need it one day. Mm. Cut the long story short. That's how we started. I went to see him. We came up with an idea. Don't forget, I didn't know how to paint, Mushin, mm. but they had ideas. By the time we finished, I gathered over 2,000 people in 2009, and we had the, uh, the largest urban renewal project in Africa called wow. Mushin Mekoba. Mm. We painted 296 houses for free in one day. We mm. painted three and a half kilometers of road maiden. Mm. We painted 28 bus stops for free. Between Jibo and, 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 and Ilupeju, mm. we painted. Banki W was there. Sound Sultan was there. Mm. Funke Daramola was there. Um, uh, uh, whiskey mm. Dai was there. You know, a, a lot of people came. You, last smart people were painting on the road. Mm. All the area boys wow. that they said were always fighting each other, everybody was painting. Oh, now, this is the big idea. If I had asked people to come and paint my house, do you think they would have come? Nobody will come and paint mm. my house. But because it wasn't about me, mm. it was about a group of people. Mm. Everybody was willing to sacrifice. So this is my point. Set a goal not about yourself. Mm. Set a goal that impacts the life of other people. Mm. And you will see how everybody wants to join in to make sure that you get it. Okay, in all this, I know that mentorship is also relevant. Absolutely. And um, I want us to look at that area. Mm. I mean, a whole lot of people think, um, what is a mentorship of company? Mm -hmm. Because these are people who in yeah, are influencers absolutely. and so I want you to talk about that. So I think, I think mentorship is very important and when people ask me, Fela, you know, who, what kind of person should I take as a mentor? One of the things I always say is, set, take a mentor as the person who has walked on a pathway that you hope to walk. Okay. Mm -hmm. The person who has arrived at a journey that you still have in your mind as a destination. Mm. So in a way, your mentor must have been through what it is you hope to go through. Mm. They have learned something. But also, make sure you set a, find a mentor who has your best interest at heart. Mm -hmm. Your mentor must, of necessity, wish that you will accomplish what they have accomplished mm -hmm. in a shorter period of time, mm -hmm. or that you are able to do more than they have accomplished mm -hmm. by their own, you know, in their time and space. So, the, what qualifies someone to be a mentor is that the person has a genuine interest for the progress and the success mm. of the mentee. Mm. So a mentor is not somebody who's trying to lord over a mentee. Mm. No, that's not a mentor, that's a tormentor, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. A mentor is someone who wants to help the mentee, who wants to say, I will connect you with people that it took me years to connect to. Mm. I will shorten your time. I will not shorten the process. Okay. I would only shorten the time. The time. Mm. Okay. So what? And, and, and this is very important because mm. there are certain things that we we've wasted time becoming. Mm. And now that we we know there where we wasted time, and you can tell somebody that thing. Oh, 
that, that road is a waste of time. I tried it and it didn't work. You may want to try it, but this is my experience. Mm -hmm. So the most important thing is a mentor is always going to be very helpful in goal setting mm -hmm. because a mentor has done it before. Has been through mm -hmm. that. And therefore life. they will be able to help you to make sure you don't waste time, you don't waste resources, you mm -hmm. don't waste energy, that you are able to optimize it. And so mentorship is good. And I have a mentorship platform that is for free. Mm -hmm. It's called the Feladuro to a Leadership Network. I charge nobody for it. Mm -hmm. We've got thousands and thousands of, of tens of thousands of people on it. But what I do every every um, uh, every Monday, especially, is that I send videos out that are useful to people, mm -hmm. and and people can sign up simply by going to feladrotoe.net, which is for network mm -hmm. slash sign up, okay. and it's for free. So I, I don't charge anybody for it. All okay. right, just take um, um, advantage of that opportunity. A uh, good day, sir. I appreciate what you are telling us because it's very inspiring. Uh, please, sir, these are just specifics. Uh, I said to go to study marine um, biology and play football. How can I marry both of them? Please, sir, I need your advice. Um, Onyime Odeme. Okay, well, uh, um, Onyime, you, I think you can achieve both, but you have to decide which one of them is more important to you. Mm -hmm. You know, there's something that is said in the scriptures. It says if your eye is single, your body will be filled with light. Mm -hmm. Sometimes one goal helps the other one to come to pass. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of people today who school abroad, are actually on scholarship. So they're on things like sports scholarship, mm. right? So, and there are many schools in the, in the US and in the, in the UK that if you are really, especially in the US, because they're still trying to develop sports, mm. um, especially soccer, that mm. if you're really good at soccer, they will give you a scholarship to come and study, mm. um, and, but you will be on the, on the soccer team. Of, so mm. sometimes you've got to ask yourself, well, how do I want to go about this? And, and the most important thing is to say that, um, sh do I want, do I want to become a footballer or do I want to become a marine engineer? Mm -hmm. If I want to become a marine engineer, I'm going to ask myself, well, how do I dedicate most of my resources to it? I mean, I can go and play soccer in the evening from time to time, but you, you've got to choose one pathway. Mm -hmm. You cannot walk on two pathways because at one point in time, they will demand the same resources of you. Mm -hmm. This is very important. Your goals will demand the same resources and you will have to choose which one to give. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you're giving it to the one that matters the most to you, mm -hmm. the one you want to see the greatest difference in your life.